Welcome to the Quaker Town Farmer's Market, a cultural landmark for locals here, which is more notably known as q -Mart. For 90 years, this market has been an oddity in its ability to draw in unique businesses and characters. First up, a one-stop shop for any comic book, figurine, or vintage toy needs. Welcome to the Iconic Zone shop. This is at the Quaker Town Farmer's Market. I'm the owner, Richard Hopkins. I've been here for about five and a half years total. Uh, I would say I have some of the best collection of action figures, movie props, comics, cards, within about a 40 mile radius. A friend of mine said that, that had his own place. He's like, hey man, you know, you got a lot of toys. Why don't you consider opening up a shop? And I was like, eh. So for about four months, I contemplated it. And I said, you know what? I think I'll do this. And when I did, I came into uh, this place with a business partner that was already established here. And after about two years, we went our separate ways and I stayed and uh, whatnot, and it's turned out to be pretty good. The Spider-Man bust right here, there's only 25 of these made in the world, and mine is number 22. Actually, I am very lucky to have this because a friend of mine actually got this as a gift from a person who owned an IMAX theater and he passed it on to me. Well, he actually sold it to me. So I would say this is probably one of the most unique things that I actually have in this show. Richard's Iconic Zone isn't the only iconic spot here. Next up is Pop Art, owned and operated by Victor Biello, and the name more than speaks for itself. So I run the Pop Art Shop. It, I've been doing art for about 10 years now. Um, but this place has been open about a year and a half, um, so we kind of just uh, support local artists. Uh, myself, I do a lot of the work. We have other artists here that make uh, some of the clay dragons you guys saw and the coasters and all the other kinds of stuff. We do um, art shows here where we don't, I don't charge anything for the other artists to come down to the shows. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's kind of the simplest thing in the world, make art, sell art, and kind of support other artists. And I was a kid that would like draw the ACDC logo on your book. In exchange, I'd be like, hey, give me your lollipop, I'll draw the logo. And then I somehow turned that into a career. So I always tell other artists, like, you can do it. The, the trick is just kind of be persistent in it. Um, kind of follow your passion. It's like a very diverse market here. There's a lot of different people that run here over the years. It's a real good, a small market like this is a good opportunity for someone who wants to open up a business. Here, we have unique individuals. We also have the Q Martians. Um, they are the most wonderful people. Like, they're super unique. Uh, we had a, a church group here over the weekend, and they're wonderful people, but they came dressed as Pikachu and Waldo, and they are just walking back and forth across the store. And I was talking to your friends here, and I really thought for a second, like, that some of the stuff I did back in the day came to life and was just walking across the halls. So you kind of can't see that at the mall. I like looking at all the boards, the different knickknacks that they have, just all the weird stuff they have. I like all the people, it's like walking around, Annie Ann's pretzels, you know, blue, blue surplus, they got like army jackets and stuff, pretty sweet. I said the name of my shop, which is the Iconic Zone. This is an iconic setting for people to come to. 